<laughs> I had a meeting the other day that I had to go to that didn't turn out the way I thought it was going to. I ended up sitting down Indian style in the back of a Subaru Forester for about three hours. <laughs> I'm gonna pay you. I wasn't scheduled more than meetings. Well, this was not a work thing. This was like a. Can you even get in a Subaru Forester? Well, apparently you can. If I can, sit, I can sit Indian style in it. Yeah, but it was in the back, and there was an ad online that said, "Hey, you know, you want to make some extra money?" And I was like, "Sure," you know. And it said, "No nudity required." And I was like, "Check." <laughs> and it said, "No cold calling." I said, "Check." And it said, no physical labor. And I said, well, check. That's a roll right up your alley, wasn't it? So I went, and it was... You're going to be a rich man, ain't you? I went, well, so I thought, I went, and maybe still, I went to a parking lot, <laughs> and they were like, when you arrive, text this number. And so I texted the number, and somebody texted me back. It was like, hey, Caleb, uh, great to meet you. Hop in the back of this Subaru Forester that's, you know, light blue. And I was like, hmm... It threw up a threw up a red flag, didn't it? Yeah, I text back no. You afraid yeah, no, you, period. Did he offer you M and M's or anything to get in? Mm mm. Oh. And uh I see the forester across the parking lot and I'm like, ah so I roll over there to it, you know, and <laughs> it's a man and a lady and like a not a small child, but like a Maybe. adolescent. Oh. And uh they're like, hey, hop in. I'm like, uh, what are we? What is? What's the job? They're like, well, just we we'll, we just want to chat with you for a minute, see if you'd be a good fit. I'm like, I'm not going to be a good fit in this Subaru Forester. Yeah, I started to say you're already not a good fit. So I climbed in the back <laughs> and sat down Indian and style. They were sitting Indian style, so I was like, well, I don't want to offend them, you know. But they weren't Indian. Yeah. They had the clothes of like Middle Eastern people. But they didn't have any other signifying marks. So I sat down and they started talking. And basically they were trying to pitch me on a uh, pyramid scheme. Uh, you know, where all you have to do is... Buy know, a pyramid? Mm, How much did that start with? I mean, if you can't yeah, afford that. No. I have a $7,300 loan at Wells Fargo that i got to pay off for all this meth. <laughs> and convincing them to let me have that loan... And me. not using the word meth was a tough task. <laughs> so I'm sitting here, and these people are trying to basically pitch me on, "Hey, the more you know, you br the more you bring in, the more you make." And I'm like, "Well, no shit, that's how sales works." But they're like, "Also, the more the person below you brings in, the more you make." I'm like, "Uh, this sounds like a pyramid scheme." And they were like, "Well," and they they were doing the same logic I was doing by not saying meth. They weren't saying pyramid scheme. And I forgot the word they used, but they kept, you know, repeating it. And then eventually, after about three hours, I told them, no, I uh, I don't think this is going to be a good fit for me. And I, my legs are asleep. You said about after three hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because his legs was asleep. And uh, then they kind of, you know, swapped their pitch up and basically started talking about this new... Triangle. Uh, they didn't call it a church, but they called it a covenant or something. Ah. You know? And so... I'm 90% sure that I am the guru of a cult somewhere. Mm. <laughs> somewhere in Indiana? Mm, probably Somewhere locally, right. uh, within a couple hours. But I haven't been to any of the meetings, so I don't know for sure. But I bet if I show up in some traditional Indian garb, I you, might be... You'll the, be like the high exalt, priest or exalter. something. Yeah. yeah. That might be the exalted one. Yeah. And if that's the case, then we're going to have to figure out another day to do this because apparently they meet on Saturday. <laughs> we'll so, have to reschedule. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it started out as a, hey, you want to make some extra money? And it ended as basically, hey, you're tall and you have a semi-deep voice, so maybe you could be the exalted one. And I'm like, I don't think they make uh, dashikis that fit me. You know, you're gonna well, what do you call them, mashikis? I don't know. They said they get their fabric from Mogadishu. Where the fuck is that? Or what is it? Is that that's, an animal? That's is somewhere that a place in California, or an I guarantee you. Yeah, that's the capital of Somalia. Okay. Sure it is. So <laughs> it's the place that they get their fabric, evidently. One of the people trying to sell me on this didn't know what that was. They kept trying to say it's made of Mogadishu. And I'm like... I don't think that's a brand, a breed of animal. I don't. I think that's a place. But 
by the end, I had convinced them that it was a place because I was 90% sure it was somewhere in the not near here area. <laughs> and it was. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. And uh, so I had successfully turned one person into believing something that they didn't previously believe. So and you I, could be the exalted one. I think that's why they switched their pitch up, and they're like, he, he did that pretty easy. <laughs> that only took about 20 minutes of just three hours. So... So in my mind already, I got all this figured out for you because I'm I got I'm I'm in my mind I mm-hmm. got this big circus tent. Yeah. Okay. And they but one way in it's a little opening there. Mm-hmm. Okay. And well, if he's going in, it's going to be a big opening. Well, when mm-hmm. when when, when all these people come through there, Kay's up front up there. He's and he's all he's in a big long white robe. Okay, and you got a big chain around his neck. Their robes are more colorful than white. And, well, you the exalted one, and and the, all the rest of them now they're wearing these colored robes. Okay, but I noticed all the rest of them they shorter than you, which well, yeah. they are. <laughs> they are. So, and I I, I got a picture. They in line going up to see Kay, and every time he every time one of them comes up there, Kay bends down and they rub him on the head, you know, and then they go on and they keep on going till they all got around the rub Kay's head in this tent and then they all sit down in this style like you said and without saying a word they all start going um, um, and they do that for about an hour and a half yeah and then when that's done same thing happens they just do it reverse they go out to come out and rub Kay's head and go out the door i like that idea but i would rather it I would like to make a couple changes or altercations to what we're doing. Just yeah. a couple? <laughs> yep. So I think they could come in, and instead of them uh, rubbing my head, they could walk by, and I could get some, like, a, you know that thing where they fingerprint you? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You've been there. I'm so. Yeah. <laughs> Me do that, you know? <laughs> just have a little ink pad, just be like, and touch their forehead with my thumbprint. Yeah. And just be like Mogadishu when they walk past. <laughs> Mogadishu. <laughs> and then they go sit for, you know, an hour and they do the ohms, you know. And like they're, uh, what are they called? Uh, resistors. Smart as shit. <laughs> the resistors. And uh, four ohms is. That's who the, <laughs> That's two of them in there ain't going along with shit. No, those are my uh, constituents or whatever. <laughs> oh. oh. That's what I call them. And so, and then they, they do the opposite. After they do the ohms, they come back through and I take some. Uh, hand sanitizer and I just wipe it off and I said Mogadishu and then leave. <laughs> but on the way out that's where we got the collection place. Yeah, you got I was wondering where the collection place <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It had to be somewhere. You come in for free. You can get in getting up, out stuff. Ohmed out. I clean <laughs> up <and> ohmed out. <laughs> I clean you off. I hit you with a Mogadishu on the way out and you drop me seven dollars in the plate. You know. And if I can do a thousand people a week you going to pay off that $7,300 loan, ain't you? Right. Oh, yeah. You'll be able to pay that loan back in short time. I'm going to roll this into another business, <laughs> which would actually save me from the other thing I was trying to do last week. I filled out a job application to get, like, a second job. Not really out of necessity, aside from that $7,300, but um, I filled out a job to go to work at Wendy's, or a job application. They ain't called me back yet, but mm. – uh, and not because I like, needed the money, because it's not that great, let's be honest. But they have a damn good breakfast baconator sandwich. <laughs> and so I apply. Instead, you so know, you apply first shift? No. No. That's what you would think. I apply for third shift, uh-huh. the, the closer. So I'll whip me up one before I leave in the evenings, wrap it up real tight, and then have it ready when I get in my truck in the morning to go to my real work. <laughs> you got this thing figured out. I'm trying my best. Oh, you got to get hired on. Yeah, well, if they'd ever call me back, I think I'd do really well in the interview. Hell, I convinced a family of three that I'm not a pyramid scheme guy, but I could run your cult. I think you ought to have a job. Sounds like you're a shoe-in. If they know how to properly manage the business. Right. It's nah, Wendy's. Yeah. It's oh, Wendy's. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, never mind. <laughs> you know, I hit them in the interview. They're like, well, we'll let you know. And I'm like... You got that ink pad right there? Mogadishu. <laughs> Hit him walk out. 